What you see here is my ERP experimental robot platform and I just want to show you some wiring on this thing. So there are all these wires coming from the arm such as here there's tons of wiring coming from the camera and the sensors and everything here. It's really messy. Then you look in the back there's this huge rat's nest of just wires and wires and wires, right? And so that's just the problem. Like that's just not professional, it's messy, wires get mixed up, it just doesn't look right, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use uh, this stuff right here, right? Some really nice people in Thailand gave it to me on my last trip. And if you want to know where to buy this stuff and what it's called, just check the info box. You know, info box right there. And so when you organize the wires, here's an example. So from the camera I have, say, five wires coming from the camera here and it's organized in this wrap right here right? and then at the end it splays out again but we could always wrap more if we want or another example would be for the arm here so there's a servo here and wire and more servos servo here, servo here and it's all wrapped up really nice and neat and it flexes and it does its thing anyway, so now I'm going to show you how to use it now your first step is uh, you want to measure out a piece of this just to go from the hand to electronics here because dealing with this whole thing and then cutting it when you're done is just too much effort, right? So anyway, I cut one already pre-measured and which pretty much went from the arm to the electronics as you can see here. Now I'm going to zoom in. So the first thing you do is you get it locked in like this. You just put the wire through, right? And then you twist it, and the wire automatically gets fed through like that, right? Twist it a little bit more. Now, you need to add in the second wire. So there's this wire here as well. So... just gets wrapped in like that All right. Now, can't do the twisting anymore so it's too tight but instead you just wrap it around wrap it around like so So far we got it going from the gripper here to the arm joint and it goes here and then we run into the problem where we're like oh no they're solar connectors they're too big they won't fit and all right well no so there's a wire behind here and this one overlaps here so you just do one wire again in the back so I just did the one in the back here. Alright. So then I lay this on top. And I do just the top wire, like so. Alright. So we just got both of those done. Make sure it's laid flat and all. And then you join both of the wires again at the very end. If they agree to go together. There we go. It's a little bit stubborn here. Anyway, make that look nice. Anyway, so you have uh, the connectors done. Alright, and then you just continue on. Alright, now we have the whole wire done. See here, I've used it all up. But the whole thing's still just dangling around, right? 
So what you get is a twist tie and just twist tie it on here. Uh, make sure that the wire isn't too taut or your robot arm or whatever that moves around might actually have trouble moving. All right. And so the whole thing is still very flexible, still moves around pretty well. Nothing gets tingled or caught, which means that you've done a good job. And that's how you wrap up your wires. So all I have to do now is just come around here, stick them in, and then just plug them in. And outside of the chassis, it's just all clean. There's just no wires. All good. See? No wires outside.